Brewers starter joining us, Mr. Smiles. How you doing, Freddie? Hello, guys. I'm doing good. How about you guys? What's up? <laughs> We're good, man. So, you know, you're playing the Marlins in the next series. You guys have you guys are in pretty good shape, right? You're on your way to a division title, but you also actually get to serve a role that some teams that are not in the playoffs get to do, right? So you get to play spoiler. If you guys take it to the Marlins, you could knock them out of playoff contention. Do you guys, you know, realize the weight of the situation on the team that you're playing to? Uh y- yes. So we are we are in a situation right now like, you know, it's a it's a great race. Uh uh especially that we got fired up a little bit here in San Luis because you know they play uh great against us. Uh they always like trying to to beat us. But today's the third game. Uh, see how it goes, but like you say about uh, about in Miami, it's gonna be a great series, and and we hope that we probably can we probably can celebrate over there. But you know we don't we are we as a team we're not thinking about it, just trying to win games and see uh, when when the the good the real good teams coming. Hey, I want to talk about you the other day, man. I didn't know you had that much skills in the, in the bailando, man. You were dancing on the field with the, you know, with the brew crew over there, man. Look at you getting after it, dude. You put a smile on my face watching. I didn't know you had the hips like that, big dog. <laughs> At first, it's good to see you, brother. Oh, uh, but, you know, I'm Dominican, man. You know, I'm from the Caribbean, uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, so we, we kind of dance. We grew up, like, dancing everywhere. Uh, it was fun. I... Let me tell you this. I had no idea that I was going to do that. Uh, I just <clears throat> came out of the dugout and I was like, you know, like supporting the people that, that customized or cleats for that day, for the Hispanic day. And and there's a guy that came to me like, hey, we're going to have a, like a group of dancers, a group of ladies. They're going to be dancing in the center field. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, so what happened? What do you mean? Like, we would like to see you like going there and see if you can dance a little bit with it. And I was like, really, are you you're gonna put me in that situation now? <laughs> and you know, I had no choice. I had to do it and it was fun. That video, uh, a lot of people from the yard started sharing it to me and I was like, like, oh my God, I didn't want to be in that <laughs> at the moment, but it is what it is. <laughs> he had to do it for the people, for the people, that's yeah. all. Exactly. So, so Freddie, um, as good as y'all starting rotation is uh, and has been throughout the year, your, your bullpen is freaking nasty, man. As a starter, how good of a feeling is that knowing that if you don't go six or seven, they got your back? Man, let me tell you, it, it gives you, it, it, it's personal for me, like, give us like a lot of, a lot of confidence. Uh, you know that you got, you, you have a group behind you that are going to take care of your back. Uh, the only thing that you need to do is keep the game close uh, and try to, you know, to ease on innings and they're going to be there for you, like putting zeros. And they've been doing that for the whole year. They, they have done a great job, man. I'm proud of the bullpen that we have and hopefully that they stay healthy. So, Freddie, obviously you dream when you're younger of making it to the big leagues and having success, and then you get to put together an outing like you did the other day. You pitched really well. Obviously, the dude on the other side had a great game, um, and he's had his ups and downs this year. But how cool was it to be able to face Adam Wainwright when he had a major individual accomplishment that he was working on? The crowd felt much more lit up than it would normally at this time of year with the Cardinals not being in the playoffs. Did you get to kind of think about it while you were in the moment and go, wow, I'm, I'm facing Wainwright in one of his last starts going for win number 200? Yeah, 100%, man. I knew I knew the situation, and I knew how important is, is this series for us and I had the series that are coming ahead too. But I knew, about, especially that game, I knew that he was he been, he been – coming and working so hard to get that win uh, and but you know I had to do what I what I had to do and 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 but everything was going like on his way uh, that night and you know I I for one part I feel bad because we lost the game and we are in, in a in a very important situation right now 
But on the other side, I was happy about him. Uh, we've been pitching together for like, you know, facing the Cardinals and watching him pitching for six years already. And before that, I was I grew up and and and, and watching him pitching. He and Jari doing you know amazing career for him. I feel great. Uh, I feel happy about him. Uh, next day, yesterday, he came out of the dugout during the practice, and he he showed us like some love, some respect, uh, and, and it was great to see him doing that and and finishing uh, his goals for the season that he was to get uh, the 200 wins. That's great, yeah. To see those are things in baseball that Danny and I like. Mo, I, I can't speak for him, but I know he'd probably say yes. I love to see guys meet their goals, even if it's on the other team. You know, you want to win as many games, but you know at the end of the day you're not. And to be a part of things, like I was part of David Wright's last and final game, you know, just to have an example, like some things that you'll never forget, and I'm sure you'll never forget that because you're going to try yeah. and get the 200 wins, of course. And I, I think you would definitely love that too as well. So for me, to change gears again, I saw you delivering food the other day on the back of uh, – a golf cart here, man. Hey, you guys were hitting people on the run. You were throwing it through windows as people were driving. You, I'll tell you what. I need to work with you in the horseshoes and the cornhole game. You guys were on fire here. Talk to us about it. <laughs> hey, man. It, it was it was really fun. And, and you know, of course, that there's little moments in the video. that There's little moments in that day that there are not in the video. So <laughs> we, have, we have fun. It was awesome. I remember that I hit a, a lady on the face, you know, like trying to oh, give no. her like, like a chair. And I threw her like, and she was happy. She was happy 100%, <laughs> but we were laughing about it. But, you know, a lot of things happened that day. I was hungry because that was like right after the, the practice. And I didn't have the chance to go eat. And as soon as I saw like <coughs> all the people like on the grill, making like some great cookies on Greek, uh, some ribs and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, wait, I gotta, I gotta get something. It looks, it looks really good. And then I went to a little group of family that were, they were like cooking. And I was like, can I get something? And they was, yes, of course, you can take whatever you want. And I tried some ribs and they were, they taste great, man. It was awesome day, we have fun. Uh, and that's the little things that we, that I think that I, I enjoy to do during the season. Mm -hmm. So, so were you taking a bite of the ribs and throwing that the rest of that rack, or did you get a new rack for everybody? <laughs> Game used. Game used. Because they they're gonna, they're gonna put that on the internet. Yeah. They're gonna put that and sell it, Freddie. <laughs> I was, oh my god, I was eating it. I was eating it on the whole road, and and I got dirty because all the sauce and all that kind of stuff. And Willie got mad with me because that. <laughs> but I was like, ah, forget about it. We're just enjoying the moment. <laughs> do, do you ever, Freddie, do you ever throw something at someone like a friend or something who's like, oh, you toss me that, and you realize that you threw it, like, way too hard because <laughs> you're a pitcher and you throw 90-something? Uh, yes, it happens. Uh, <laughs> sometimes to my daughter. Like, I forgot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, she, I, she, uh, for me, uh, one of the, the sports that she probably going to practice is going to be soccer. So she, she loved that already. And she has like two uh, soccer ball in, in the house. And sometimes I, I kick it and I kick it too fast. Or so sometimes I throw it to her and I hit it. Like I, I have hit it like two times in the face. Oh, no. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't cry. I don't know. That's weird. Like she, I don't know. She just started laughing about it, running everywhere, <laughs> like enjoying it. And I'm like, what are you doing, little girl? <laughs> I love Because everything you got is going to, I can just imagine, like, oh, here's the soccer ball. <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. 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 It, it's probably got some movement on it, too, because yeah. it's not going to be straight. It's got some movement. No, exactly. It's, you know, you know how it is. Hey, Freddie, you've got a pretty new teammate who's been in the bigs for a while. How's Josh Donaldson doing with the ball club? And have you gotten to talk to him at all or, or mess with him? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's been doing great. Uh, uh, you know, the first day that he got here, uh, you know, he shaked my hands and he was like, uh, you fast with Freddy, but when you face me, you throw me a lot of sliders. And I was like, yeah, you always in the front looking for the hunting the fast so I'm going to throw sliders. <laughs> <laughs> so well, he's, he's, he's good. He's been doing good. And I think that he's happy uh, to be here. And that's all that matters for us. I don't understand how it didn't catch on. You know, we put it, I don't know if you saw on the bottom of the screen, we put full menu Freddy on the graphic. Full, me 
Yeah, but yeah. but the thing is, guy, you know, you came up in the league and you were throwing a lot of heaters early on, and guys just loved the nickname. Are you correcting everyone nowadays, like Donaldson, when they say, "Hey, fastball, Freddie"? Like, hold up, dude, look at my pitch mix. I'm not fastball, Freddie anymore. <laughs> I should I should do that. I put all kind yeah. of stuff to do that, but <laughs> but uh, because you. Uh, I remember it was the start of the season. I think we were. Yeah, uh, spring training. We said full menu, Freddy. Let's yeah. run it. And no, it, it hasn't picked up like I thought it would, but it should because I think from a marketing perspective, people need to know if they're calling you fastball, Freddy. They're not watching you. Full they're not watching Freddy, your yeah. starts. No. Full menu. <laughs> well, especially full passing menu. passing out food. You definitely got to go. Exactly. Full menu now. That even helps. Full menu, yeah. Freddy, right. with the food. I'm probably going to start uh, correcting people about it, yeah. Yes. You have, to. you have to just do a declaration on your social media and say, I'd like to announce that I am not Fastball Freddy anymore. That persona has been retired. It, yeah, has been retired, and it's because you guys. Yes. Well, Michael Vasallo has got to be right there with you, right? Is Vasallo there with you? Tell him. Uh, He'll do it. He, he's PR, yeah. He's not yeah. here right now, but he, he's everywhere. So I'm going to let him know, and let's see what he thinks about it. <laughs> uh, you know, we don't like him uh, to post a lot of things sometimes because we like to to keep like all things like you know in secret a little bit, like a little sneaky. But and and even if you want to wait, like it it could be done, you know, after the playoff run and all of that. But at some point, I feel like people just have to kind of understand that this is a different pitcher nowadays. Yeah. If you if you think he's just fastball, Freddie, good luck. You're yeah. you're going to be like Donaldson swinging and missing at sliders. <laughs> Love it. You know? Heck yeah. Hey, oh, question okay. for you about Craig Council, man. Have you talked to him? He's got 700th win. 700th, Last I should say. Sorry. Uh, are you trying to pitch in for him for 2024? Any talks about that, getting him back? Man, I think he's – I don't know what's going on, but he's keeping all that in secret. Uh, you know, I'm proud of him. Uh, 700 is a lot. He's a great manager. I think you all know that. Great person. And my, I wish to have him uh, for my, you know, for years coming. I don't know how long he's going to be here for, but he doesn't talk about it. So I think that he's <laughs> it's something that he only knows. I don't know. But he doesn't want to talk about that. I asked him during the whole season in Dominican Republic because he was there uh, in January, early in January. And he went, he went to my house, and I was like, but he doesn't want to talk about it. I don't know why. <laughs> no comment, right? Yeah. No comment, yeah. In the offseason, maybe then. So what makes him unique in terms of his in-game managing? I feel like the big thing with him when you know people around the league talk about his strengths is they say he's so good at pressing the right buttons during the game, and that includes when to take – his pitcher out, when to put in a particular reliever, when to press a button on a pinch hitter. H how does that go? Like, what have you observed from that? I mean, we spoke to Woodruff, your boy, Big Woo, the other day Big about Woo. his back and forth with Council for his complete game shutout and how many pitches he had left. Yeah. It was really cool to get that insight. Uh, do you have anything that you've observed about what's made him really good at, at in-game managing? Yeah, you know, I think first thing that he does like really good is is he wor he worry a lot about about keeping everybody healthy. So he knows he probably he, sometimes he make if we if we don't if we are not going to have like off day between two stars. What he does is he brings somebody uh, from somewhere like to give us some rest. So he he always like like trying to keep us like fit, fresh, feeling good, and you can see. The different things that he does between like every stars like let's see let's talk about last night so you see last night uh we had a reliever mcgill starting the game only for one inning but we knew that uh we had our guy uh ray behind him so he but he he does that because something so he all the time he probably did did that last night because he don't want ray to face the the, the top of the line on three times you know, he, he he figured out he always like trying to do something different. But his more important thing for me is to keep everybody like fresh, keep everybody healthy. Uh, you know, he made sure to ask uh, everyone how you feel. Like if I am in this, in this if I finish the season in let's say that, uh, and I have like 85 or 90 pitches, he, he comes to me like, hey, you feel good? Do you think that you you can 
you can give me another inning or you feel good now. So he he's always like making sure, uh, consulting you like how you feel and, and he does what he thinks that he's better for keep us like healthy for the whole season. Freddie, I got a I got a two part question. Do you miss hitting? And does anybody now like try to imitate Council in BP like this, trying to hit? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't I don't miss hitting. <laughs> it was good though. <laughs> I, I wasn't good hitting. I have a lot of stories. The guys always like talking about it. And the other day, like probably like two three weeks ago, they were in the computer and they were like playing with me. They were like fighting all the <laughs> finding all the hard moments that I have, the strikeouts. And I was like, <laughs> please don't do that. Don't show it to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like playing without me, like showing everyone all the ugly swings that I that I had done, that I that I did to uh, to I don't know. Like one day in 2019, he threw me a sinker, and he, you know, he broke my bat really bad and Ooh. all that kind of stuff. You know, so I, I don't I don't miss hitting. Uh, it's good. <laughs> I feel good like that. And, and what you say about about council? So about the he's staying hitting. Uh, it was fun, and it's something that we that we always uh, uh, talk about it. But more in spring training uh, during the meetings that we do in the clubhouse. So somebody always brings something about him. Freddie, I'm gonna you know, break some news for you that's already been out there, but you might have missed it because it was posted pretty late at night. Although this actually ties into the question because I'm not sure if you were awake to catch it. So you say Kikuchi, you know him on the. Toronto Blue Jays? Yes. Good pitcher on the Blue Jays this year. Oh, good. We have the tweet. I'll read it for you. This is the writer who covers the Blue Jays for the Athletics said he thinks he'll be fine for his next start. He left last night with cramps. Now he pitched. He, he pitched five innings, one run, seven strikeouts. He had a good day. The biggest revelation was that he said it may have been caused by only getting 11 hours of sleep instead of his usual 13 oh or God, 14 <laughs> hours. I need your sleep totals. <laughs> what your average is, what your high is, what your low is. Other teams, like, do you have, do you, I mean, other teammates, do you have other teammates that log anything close to 14 hours? Because the thing that I'm still having a hard time with is Kukuchi only is awake for 10 hours per day. That's a lot to do in 10 hours, and you're pretty much at the ballpark for 10 hours. No so way. it's wake up, ballpark, home, sleep. <laughs> Gotta be. No, I can't I can believe this, man. 13 hours, 14 hours. Oh my God! No, I think that the max that I is probably nine, but normally me, what I is seven to eight hours. I cannot be in the bed for more than than, than that. It's too much for me. Like I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I can't. But that's that's real. That's crazy. I didn't know. That. I had no idea. I gonna talk with the guys about it. Let's see what. They yeah, can. I want to. I want to. <laughs> you got to do some investigative reporting. Like, are there any teammates? that are known to sleep a ton where it's like, oh, you know, oh, I called him or I texted him. I ah, sleep and he always sleeps till like 12. He gets his 12 plus hours. Is there somebody? I got to talk to them about it. I, okay. I got to talk with my guys. Let's see what they think about it. Uh, I'm going to ask, you know, who's the right guy? <laughs> I'm going to ask Miley first and see what he <laughs> <laughs> he He's the only yeah. one. So I'm going to ask him. I have one. You, you said sometimes Adamus won't show up to lunch on time. Is it because he's sleeping? Uh, maybe he, he goes to the bed late. He goes to bed late, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got a ton he, he of energy, worked. though. I'm like, there's no way he's only awake for like 12 hours, you know? Yeah, I don't think. Uh, you know, we're very close. But I think I think that he go late to the bed, and that's why he wake up late. Can you imagine if you only had 10 hours per day? No, to do everything not, you not, needed to do. Not, it's not a no. It's not a no for me. <laughs> Fre Freddie, did you say Wade Miley is the guy you're going to ask? Yeah, yeah. Are you going to ask him? I would pick him, too. I would pick yeah. him if anybody, yeah. <laughs> he looks like he, looks he just like wants to sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask him and see what he's going to say about it. He probably will, will, get, will be mad with me because he always like, you know. But why you ask <laughs> We've him? had him on. Why, why, why me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've heard of guys, you know, double digit hours plenty in the league, but 14 was a new one for me. I had no, never no. heard of that. I never met me either. 
I want to talk to him about like what he's what he's missing for a few hours a day at least. So, yeah. All right, you do some homework. Wow. Next time you come back on, we'll find out what the average is with the Brewers. You're probably going to shock a lot of dude. That's that's a good combo today with the boys in the clubhouse when they come through. Like, hey, dude, you see this stuff about Kikuchi? You should tell him. Yeah. For sure, I would do it. Hundred <laughs> Perfect. Full menu. Good to talk to you, man. We'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. Cheers, my friend. Yeah. See you soon.